G'day, let's play some more of our Hearts of Iron 4 mod as Iran. So our Civil War has just triggered. We're going to try and run some guys up there, capture Tehran. Don't all expect it to work. That will take long enough to get there, otherwise we're just going to try and spread out and hold them until our allies can get in. But Soviets are already bringing some heavy tanks down. It is all mountainous here though, of course. Hilly. Hills and mountains everywhere. Oh, there's actually some plains over there. Plains and desert. Mixed in with the mountains. Okay. He's blocked the most obvious way in, so let's try and get this guy to help out. Where'd the cab go? He is in there. Alright, if we can get this guy up around the other side, that would be great. Ready now. And where are you guys going? Strategically redeploying way around the back. Well, what we should like to do is take some of these forts. So, let's give that a go. Get into Tabris as well. These forts should only be level 2. <coughs> Alright, concentrated industry. Uh, 43. Free output. Whoever gets in here gets the benefit of the fort. And it's him, of course. Well, it kind of sucks, but he's only got one guy there. But there's going to be some losing battle. Hmm. Then restart them to hit them up to Tehran. And nah, not going to do well in the mountains, even though we have at least one mountain near there. Alright, let's get a cab with these mountaineers. The more we can push back and grab some victory points, the sooner he'll fall. Alright, did good up here. Um, let's grab four of these, get them over to that fort. I'm assuming that the Russians and the Yugoslavs can take out the tank after we get the encirclement. Also want them running down the coast towards Tehran. And over here. Just push on him. Hello. This one guy can come up this way. Now that that's done, they can all come up this way. Alright, victory, Battle of the Coast of Japan. <clears throat> Don't care about the rest of that. Alright, he is going up, so this guy can definitely come this way. Soviets should be pushing down there to take the unoccupied forts. I actually told these guys what they're supposed to do. You are supposed to take that. Mm, go for it. Alright, what else do we have over here? Guy already pushing up. This guy can take that. Mountaineer can help in the mountains. <clears throat> Alright, one would assume the Soviets were going to do the obvious thing there. Um, well, getting him off the fort would be a better idea, wouldn't it? It's take him five days to get out of there. Alright, now we're ready to go against Romania. So we'll let somebody else actually do the work. I wanted to declare war on them to force them to join the Axis. The Germans have called him in. That gets merged. Good. So there's only Switzerland left neutral, and Denmark, somehow. Germany never declared. Alright, we got our Soviet backup in down here. But, we want to take this. Luckily, they haven't uh, organised that. I guess he just doesn't want to join the Axis. 
All right, these guys will keep coming across. He has been stopped by somebody. The yellow flag in Xinjiang. Xinjiang, Junchuan. All right, Turan is about to fall. Yeah, down to half. Taking Turan will put a big dent in their style. Alright. 31. Well, what else can we do from here? Not much. They're actually pretty strong around there. He does still have heavy. Alright, help them out. Now he's only got one up there. So, send them up. <clears throat> and Rushed is next door. So, get this guy through over there. Mountaineer can try and head the other way. Alright, modification of the government. We don't care about the Navy at all. <clears throat> Still want the research time reduction there. Let's just build it up for a while. <clears throat> Alright, nuclear effort. It's always good. Iranian Communist Authority pursues nuclear tech. Blah, 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 blah. We will continue. Alright, secret weapons, electronics, rocketry, and nuclear. Four months. Alright, we've got the oil fields now, don't we? <clears throat> Rebuild Baghdad for four more factories and Salak is just MPs alright let's rebuild Baghdad this guy up into bubble and I guess grab these guys to attack there hmm <clears throat> might have to get over to Coruscant He's going to leave. Nah. Sort this out, and then they'll go over there and finish the job. Alright. Extra guy. And we are defending there. He shouldn't have any supplies. You should be able to weaken him pretty easily. <clears throat> Alright, let's go take a look at Japan. Hey, Brian's gone. We took enough. And these guys are then free to head over to Romania. We would want to go try and take these three, really. Um, we could try and do that. Do it the second they get there. Maybe we'll be able to get points for taking Bucharest. Pick up 19% participation. And strategically redeploying. Japan is falling away nicely. Oh, are you right next to Sendai? Alright, so we've got somebody else in the war. <coughs> in Romania, I think we're going to have to do something to first. Alright, let's grab these guys. They could be helping out in... Damn it. They could be helping out in the home islands. Alright, let's just get this guy... No need to run to Sapporo. We can deploy a few guys. Just set them for over there, I guess. They're doing Aleppo. <coughs> Auto join that. Alright. Now, of course, they join the entire front. <coughs> but, I assume they'll give this a fair old whack. Alright, it's 43. Research. <clears throat> Already got the boost to that. 
Let's go decryption. The end of the Iranian civil war, yes. With the surrender of the last monarch's strongholds, the Iranian civil war has come to an end. The nationalists stand victorious. A new era has begun for Iran. The war-torn country has suffered greatly in the fighting. There is much rebuilding to be done. Now to heal our nation. Okay, let's, uh, let's try and pull in. Let's take a look <clears throat> how badly it'll go, since we don't have our organisation up yet. About as expected. <clears throat> Might be able to win a couple of these though, which is surprising. Alright, there is some unrest around the place. I don't care enough to do anything about it though. A lot in Poland, or German Poland, whatever you would call it. Alright, Romania, would, well, it's 99, so we have taken something. Japan, 16, so we just need to take Sapporo. You have a little bit of trouble getting over there. Alright, next up, support weapons, and let's switch over infantry equipment to 3. Over artillery, I never went to upgrade. And we're going to need more infantry equipment at some point. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, just push on them. Play it pretty soon. Let's focus on Romania. And push for Bucharest. So he's only got, yeah, one tank division. There they go. As long as we're the ones to get into Bucharest, we'll be happy. At 19.5. And it's actually looking pretty green around here. Supplies, yeah, gonna be terrible the number of Allied troops around there. Polish. Dovizia Pisciotti. There's weird saying Polish troops around since they usually die so quickly. Alright, we'll progress then. Nice. Alright, everybody now, no, I've already capitulated, to Yugoslavia. There's so many guys there. Let's head in. <laughs> Clusterfuck over there. Alright, what are we looking for? Battle for Asahigawa. Asahigawa? Yeah, need to take it. Alright, one of you, get up there. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. How many men does he have left? He's got a lot of guys somewhere. Probably down there. Yeah. But he's capitulated and the war is over. Alright, so what we wanted to take was obviously Afghanistan. You know, let's pass once. This stuff. Albania, Western Slovakia, Czechoslovakia, Ethiopia, Kingdom of Libya. Saudi Arabia, you son of a bitch. Why the hell did Poland do that? Alright, well, let's grab our other stuff then. We are going to try and grab all of Turkey. And the rest of Saudi Arabia. Freaking Poland stole for some reason. I'm sure he was going to go for the German lands first. Parts of Africa. Should be able to get all of Portuguese lands. National Spain. Let's take the bottom half of that. Um, get some toeholds up here. And the Blairies. I think was the reason we went to war with them, wasn't it? Alright, Afghanistan, we are taking it all. Um, Hungary, Romania, we could head up there. Let's actually take as much of Italy as we can. We should have some decent factories. I'm going to run out of 
point soon. We're going to catch up to France. Let's get a border with France. Yep, now it's asking too much. Uh, I can't remember what Yugoslavia's deal was. I think they did join us, didn't they? Three. Might be able to squeak out a tiny bit more somewhere. It's looking good. A bit from Portugal. Ooh, some islands, actually. And what's this one? The Azores. That's still looking good. Okay. What are the islands around here? We could get it all as part of Turkey. Getting all this as part of Italy. It's costing too much. Alright, we'll end our turn there. We take a ton of stuff and then France changes Italy, Portugal, Spain and Japan. Okay, we're not going to be able to do much because China's going to take bits out of Japan here. So, <clears throat> decent factories there. Chikoku, Shikoku, Kayushu, not as good as Hokoriku, which we can't do. Yep, see, so where China gets a bunch of their stuff. <clears throat> now we're going to bump up against Poland trying to do things to Germany so what's the chance that we can puppet Germany it'll let us do that I doubt we'd be able to do anything else uh, Italy Hungary we can puppet them both all right, what about Romania? And that is asking too much. All right, we don't want to end our turn there. We want to take something. Can't take Gibraltar. But we could, no. Yep, all of that costs too much. End our turn there. So we get in on the puppetry game. Poland liberates Austria. And yeah, now they're doing the West Germany thing. Alright, what if we... Uh, liberate East Germany. France is going to do things next. So if we do that... Can't do Hanover as well. Alright, end the turn there. starting to look horrendously messy. Poland just took a giant chunk. Alright, we have a few points. Belgium are coming up next. Holy crap, yeah, we have a few points. Poland gave us the rest of his. He didn't want anything else. Okay then. Uh, Portugal, we will take Goa and Timor. <clears throat> Germany's done. Siam's done. Japan's done. So there isn't actually anything else to do. What ended up happening to Japan? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Now they're coming up. Alright, Taiwan, Okinawa, and turn. And done. Now we'll figure out what happened to Japan then. Alright, we took 58. It's rather surprising. Who were annexed, puppeted, different people put into power. Alright, what is this? That's China. Holy crap. <laughs> the colour looked familiar. China took parts of the home island from Japan. Okay, and Joseon Empire. We're in the common turn, so that's good. Um, let's take a look at this. Chinese United Front. Uh, while we're over here, we're in 
could declare war on China while the uh, Soviets are nearby. <coughs> yeah, let's do that. Justify war goal to conquer. Um, yeah, it's going to take ages. Ever, yeah. <coughs> well, let's do it over. Hokuriku. Send that. And while that is happening, I want to grab our army up there. Put them on the border with them and tell them to conquer all of this Chinese land when the war starts. These guys. <coughs> well, Romania and not won't be able to get through to attack them. Republic in Spain, where we can't invite people. So we'd want to get on the border with Probably West Germany. Hmm. That will let us do... Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> They'll join the Allies at some point, but we've got a small contingent over there ready to go. Now, we have a few free dockyards. And still only make convoys. Modification of government is not important. We're at war with Greece. Excuse me. Well, they're going to capitulate at the end of the day. Don't know how that's even a thing, but all right. My manpower, exiled divisions, insufficient resources, significant. Resistance to occupation is just in Greece and doesn't matter. Okay, let's just wait for this other peace deal. At the end of the day. Probably can Italy join the Allies. Major faction members in this war. They're in that war as well, so that shouldn't be a problem. But for some reason the war isn't ending. So yeah. Probably Italy has joined the UK as our war against Greece. Greece, who is also in the Allies. West Germany joined the Allies. Trying to cancel non aggression. West Germany joins Allies. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a shake up for a while as everybody joins the factions. But we should be okay eventually. Alright, well, let's.